Oh, hey there. Thanks for stopping by. As you know, we've kind of gotten a little deep into the 3D printing with our four 3D printers currently. I don't know how that happened. But anyways, what I wanted to do in this video was just to let you guys know that I have decided to create a dedicated channel just for 3D printing. So I'm going to link that uh, right here, right in the bottom. So if you like that kind of stuff, pop by and have a look. If not, stay tuned on this channel because we're still going to have all the motocross, race cars, and all sorts of other goodies on this channel. I'll put the odd 3D print thing in here because you guys do seem to like that. It tends to get pretty good views, so I'm going to continue with that. But, like I said, we're going to have one channel strictly dedicated to all things 3D printing. So, I look forward to seeing you guys all there. In the meantime, let's jump right into this video. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to show you a very simple change in Creality Print that is probably going to save you a ton of grief. <laughs> I don't know why it's not automatically in there. It seems odd to me that they wouldn't put it in there, especially if you're using an S1 that has this particular feature. But nonetheless, they didn't do that. So let's go ahead and jump into Creality Print here. So what I'm after specifically is the auto leveling. For whatever reason, when I selected my Ender 3 S1 Pro in here, it didn't have auto leveling enabled. And I scoured all over this program trying to figure out how to make that work. Apparently it's not in here. But I'm going to show you a very simple solution. Literally takes 15 seconds to do. So what you got to do is you got to head up to tools on the left, on the left hand side manage printers scroll on over here down to g-code and all you need to do right under g92 reset extruder is put in g29 auto level but make sure you put it in the middle here because if you put it up here it's going to screw it all up when it resets the extruder so you want it after so what it will do here now is it will move over to the center essentially home itself in the center and then go over and start the auto level process so that's all you need to do. Simple as that. It was 15 seconds. Click save. You're good to go. And I've already tested it out a few on a few prints. It's golden. So if you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.